In today's video, I'm going to show tool swapping on a Titan. In this example, what I've done is I've gone and made a program that requires use of my OG tooling that I don't use very often, so a lot of times I store it on my tool cart because I don't have enough pockets physically on the machine for these tools as well as the tools that I normally use. So what I'm doing is I've already removed most of my bull nose tools here and I got a couple more to remove. I just need to finish physically swapping these tools out on the rack itself. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over and we're gonna start with a 2000 series screen and prior, show a tool swapping procedure on the screen and then we're gonna go and do the same thing on a Titan 3000 series and newer. With the tool swap done physically on the machine, next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the setup tab and go to the tool library. I am going to be replacing my pocket 21 through 27, which is currently a bull nose tool, with tools that are uh, OG style. And the reason for this is I don't want to have to do manual tool changes inside of my program. So <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing here is first off on the 2000 series machine, I am going to be saying that my first tool number, okay, the first tool number that I want is say 21. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take tool 21 through 27, which are my bull nose series, and I am going to swap them inside of the library with tool number 40 through 46. Now, when I hit swap, what this does, here I'm going to hit it, you're going to be okay with this if you're using Alpha Cam. What just happened is the machine took those values of bull nose and put them out of the machine. So they are no longer in a physical pocket anymore. As you can see, if I come up to now pocket 21, you can see that my bull or excuse me, my OG series tools have been placed inside of pocket 20 through 27. So this would allow my machine operator to go and remove the bull nose out of those pockets manually, just grabbing them out of the tool clips, grabbing our FS30's OG sets, placing them inside of those pockets, um, and running those tools and sets. So this would have to be done before the G-code was even loaded or um, basically, right when you're about ready to load the G-code, the operator would go through, swap the tools out, and run that program. Now, let's say the next program does not use the OGs anymore. They were like a rare tool that we don't use very often. I would need to swap in the bull nose set once again. If the process is the same. I just come down to the bottom. My first tool number is 21 that I want to take out. Um, all the way through 27 is my full set and then um, I'd be coming back down here to position 40 I want to grab those bull nose so the first tool is 40 and you'll see that the end number will update itself because it knows it needs to keep track of the same number of tools again once I hit swap hit OK there I'd be set up so that I could be running all the way through my first program um, doing my tool swaps to an OG, coming back, next program after that, I put away those OG sets, I pull them out of the machine, pull them out of the tool clips, put my bull nose back in, and swap them again on the library side. Now I'm showing 
the HMI front end of a newer Titan 3000 series and newer. The screens look a little bit different, but it still works much the same. I've gone in and physically replaced the tools out of the pockets that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the setup tool library screen and you can see that currently the library says that tool 21 is still located in pocket 21. This works a little bit differently on the new Titans. As you can see, there's ID numbers as well as pocket numbers. Now the ID number refers to Alpha Cam. What number is it in Alpha Cam? The new Titans, you don't go and copy numbers. There is no two different versions of 21. There's not a 21 that's a bullnose and a 21 that's an OG. Instead, there's just a 21 that's a bullnose in this instance. And you actually leave the OG set as 40. Now what that means is I'm going to swap the pocket locations, not the ID numbers. We're on the 2000 series and prior. Uh, the pocket and the ID was all one and the same. So this works a little bit different. What I'm looking to do here is my first tool number is 21. I'm looking to swap out, say, seven tools, typically. And, and I actually did that a little bit backwards here. Let's say that instead of 21, it wouldn't really matter which one I grabbed. I could also grab 40. Now, the pocket that I want to go put it in is 21. So when I go and hit swap, what you're going to see is that the tool ID number still stays the same, but the pocket location on the machine, the machine knows that these tools are now physically in those pockets. And if I come back up to these ones, 21 through 27 are not in the machine. So the machine knows that they have been swapped, but it also knows that these are still 21 if I would program with them. So I run my job. I get done with my rare set of OGs. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to physically take the OGs back out of the machine, physically put on the bullnose sets in the pocket numbers 21 through 27. All I have to do on the new series is just come to the first tool, 21. The number of tools in the pocket stays the same as last time I hit swap again. It will swap them back in and it will take out those OGs for me. And that's how we complete a tool swap on a Titan 3000 series and newer. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.